My name is Sarah Goldie, and the film is basically about adults with learning disabilities who's been misdiagnosed. My character, I play Marie, which she has a uh, menus disease in the inner ear, and uh, the, the, the film will actually show you why doctors misdiagnose people with adults with learning disabilities. What we're trying to do is cut down on the, on the, um, on the numbers of death and get equal health care for people with adults with learning disabilities. My name is Jessica Garrett and I'm an actor and I've been involved with this project for the past six weeks um, playing the part of Heather who is the sister of Marie who is the patient in the play and in the film who has Down syndrome and who is also um, coming into contact with lots of different medical professionals as a result of a health problem that she has. My name is Tim Scragg, I'm an actor and I've been playing the character of the A&E doctor in the film. Uh, he's a relatively junior doctor, um, he is on, as I say, on an A&E unit and it's a long shift, busy day, uh, so he comes in um, stressed, distracted, uh, not quite sure what he's walking into and rather uh, surprised and out of his depth, uh, I think, when he's confronted with uh, the two characters in, in, in the room. The doctors don't actually see her in the room, not talking to her. But what does he really want is the doctor to talk to her. I think, yeah, deep down he probably feels um, not that he would uh, be conscious of this or certainly not that he would admit it to people, but I think he feels deeply uncomfortable about talking to someone with learning difficulties, doesn't really know how to go about communicating with Marie at all. And therefore, from the, the start, uh, I suspect he's looking for an out uh, from the, uh, the consultation. Now, talk to the carer. Heather, who's played by Jessica Grant, and, uh, and that's it really. She just the doctors just just talk to her, not talking to my character. I think the character's behaviour has a negative effect on on Marie's uh, both uh, her, her treatment at that time, but also. Um, uh, on her, the whole course of her care, really, that if he had got better information more quickly from Marie, if he'd built some rapport with her, if he'd just explored the issues with her, um, there would have been no need to send her home, uh, and therefore they could have um, gone ahead with further investigations on her first visit to the hospital. And that means that a lot of the issues that she's facing in, in the later scenes of increased symptoms and uh, uh, more kind of uh, psychological impact because she's getting increasingly tra traumatised by her poor treatment, um, none of that would have, have ever happened. OK, my name is Caroline Partridge and um, I'm playing the um, GP in this piece. Um, my role is really uh, uh, the well-intentioned general practitioner who uh, gets the diagnosis wrong. I'm glad, I'm really glad to be involved in this project because I think uh, what the message of this, this film is, it's actually really important that um, sometimes people um, overlook the symptoms um, because they're, they're um, regarding the person, the label that a particular person has, more than they are the symptoms. I mean, my, the, the general practitioner I play gets the diagnosis wrong um, uh, because I'm thinking about the emotional impact that, um, that the death of the mother has had on the two um, sisters. Um, and I look at it from that perspective rather than actually looking at the patient and, um, and her symptoms. It would be great if what doctors could take away from this is that it's, it's very important to see the person and not the disability. Um, a lot of the doctors in the play and, and in the film are so overwhelmed or embarrassed or misled by the fact that Marie has Down syndrome that they forget to perhaps apply the same diagnostic principles that they would on other patients and so the underlying physical problem that she presents with it goes undiagnosed. It's good to teach um, student doctors to 
getting them to prepare what situations they're going to be facing when they be a professional doctors. So in a way, it's education for them to really notice what, what they're going to be facing in real life. I, I think it's a really important piece, actually. It's, a, it's an important piece just to enlighten everybody, whether you're a doctor or not, just in terms of human interaction and how misunderstandings can arise because people don't listen. The best thing that could come out of this project overall is, is more communication. People being inspired to communicate more and further to each other on these issues.